Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another Marini CM, this time testing a 5.7 uh, Volvo Penta Mephi 4. Uh, this was sent to me by Brian from Utah. Uh, his concern is uh, a bank of injectors that is not working. I have the computer running right now with all the signals as, as usual, and we can definitely see that we have only one batch of injectors firing. So we can see right now 3.1 liters in here, the fuel pump and everything is working. When I connected the computer, uh, Again, if you need to send a computer to me, just look for MikeSalazarDiagnostics.com, just like it says in there. Click in this button in here, and that's my address. All you need to do is contact me. We get a, a little bit of uh, information, and you can just send the module, and then I will start doing the test for you. All right, going into Brian's computer. Uh, let me brought up that this. So we have codes for engine shutdown telltale set and injector B low, code 81. Definitely 100% that I can reproduce. All right, so what I'm going to do now is open the computer. Yeah, so you can see, Brian, that this is indeed your module here. And that is the numbers on these computers. Fiber references there. We got uh, IAC and coil. Everything is working except for a batch of injectors. All right, so hopefully we can repair this one. Um, again, this will be just a short update for the customer. Uh, we'll open the computer, and if it's repairable, contact him and get the approval. If he gets the approval, which I hope so, it is repairable, and then I will proceed to keep going with the video. All right, guys, so I'll be right back. Hey, guys, okay, so I spoke to Brian, and actually he told me that this is his friend John's computer, so John called me and approved the repairs. I now finish the repairs with the computer and I'm doing the tests. So as you now we'll see, well, the computer is now running because I've been running for a while to make sure everything is fine and giving the okay. But yeah, now we got injector bank one and bank two, fuel pump, everything is working 100%. We got the fiber reference and now we can see 3.1 and 3.1. Remember this was not there. Um, this is again a short test so we can see this working. We got the IAC working 100% in there, uh, ESC signal, everything is good in here. And this is for them to see that this is indeed their computer. So we got that in there and they can see that in here as well. So all is good. Now going up to the uh, oscilloscope and everything as I usually do with all these computers. So we have, as you can see here, a star with all my functions one, and I'm going to now uh, do it again. And we have, zero fold codes excellent so now we have the yellow channel is the tachometer the green channel is the esc signal and then the red and the blue are the injectors and they're working perfectly all right so i'm going to um raise the rpm first well actually let me select the rpm so we can all see what the rpm is so far and now we can see all this i'm going to raise it up to like around 4,000 rpm or so I gotta give him throttle too. Let me get the throttle position so we can all see that from the distance because I don't have my glasses on either. This is pretty much what we need to keep it running, right? All right, so like I said, I'm going to go around four, 4,000, 4,500 RPMs uh, and we can see all the signals now changing. Obviously we have more RPMs, but everything is nice and, and no full codes. So I'm going back to idle around 650, 700. Actually, it says that the side idle is 875, 875, sorry. So I'm going to bring it down Oops, too much. I'm going to have set a full code for that. No, it looks like it didn't. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to now turn the computer off. All complete. So we lost communication in there, you see. Now computer back on. We can see the fuel pump prime goes away that's exactly the way it's supposed to be and now we're going to run it at idle it takes like two seconds or so to uh, update the start with all malfunctions and we we'll see that uh shortly start with all malfunctions come on update okay but now we got two stars with all malfunctions so john and brian your computer is 100 percent repair everything is good and i told them this repair will have a one-year warranty I back all my repairs with a good warranty. It all depends on what I do and how the module is. 
this module is like brand new, not a problem. I tell them that the problems in here are the jumpers. These are the ones maybe for the, the gel goes down to one side and pull all the jumpers. Still, I replace both injector drivers, diodes and capacitors that are included onto that circuit just to protect their investment and my warranty. But the rest of the boards is no burns, no nothing. I tell them this is not a problem on the boat. The problem was in the computer. This is a bad um, gel, like either they, they don't, they, you know, on the fact that they didn't let it cure or they put them on an angle and then the gel goes onto one side and then by time, right, 2004, 2005, so 20 years of being in there, it pulls the jumpers. But the rest of the board looks pristine. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting the channel. John and Brian, thank you so much for sending the computer for trusting in Mike Salazar Diagnostics. I told John and Brian that please, after you are happy with your boat and you're enjoying, you know, two, three weeks or so, please help me with a review because that helps others find me through Google, through YouTube, everything counts and I'm a small business. So everything that you guys can do to help me out, again, just go over to MikeSalazarDiagnostics.com and you can go into reviews in Google and you can help me in there. You will see that all I have is five star reviews because I try to be <clears throat> as crystal clear with my repairs. And if there, even if the computer is not, uh, it doesn't need a repair and I see that I can guide the, the, you know, the owner or the technician to repair the vehicle, boat, truck, whatever it is, I try to help as much as I can and I always do. So if you need anything to be repaired, don't hesitate. Just look for MikeSalazarDiagnostics.com. My name is spells very different. It's just the way it sounds on Spanish and that's the way my dad and my mom, you know, put it. But yeah, if you're looking for my name, that's the way it's a spell. Just MikeSalazarDiagnostics.com. You will go into this page. You can click here on contact us. This will open your email browser imme immediately and you can send me an email before you chip the computer to me like that i can get in touch and i can tell you yes how long it's going to take i can give you an estimate a rough estimate because i need to check the module before i can check it I've, it's very hard i can be scaring you for a big price and it's not necessarily like that right so um, again just give me a contact or call me uh, you will have my information if you, if you scroll down into the page at the bottom of the page is all my contact information as well you have it right here so you can have in there contact everything all right all well, guys all right so guys thank you so much for visiting for visiting the channel and don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye bye